Hey there guys, Joe Cooler number 8 here, here for his uh, first Marvel Universe figure review. And this time around, I am doing the uh, Marvel Universe door and for, the, uh, for the series uh, 2, the 2, number 12 figure, figure you know, the, uh, the Hammer Wave. And, of course, wait, and of course I have the little uh, card for it. Again, sorry it's sideways because the camera I got is uh, is on a low, uh, it's already low enough, so I really can't pick it up and show you all the way. But here's the card, the back of the card and stuff. Mm -hmm. Other figures, other figures in the wave, and there's something a lot more of the hammer wave figures. You got the uh, Iron Man, the classic Captain America from what it seemed like, and Luke Cage. And there's also some read up. On the figure, you can pause the video and read that. And the uh, and the prototype of the figure. Now, yes, I said the prototype because when they basically use the picture of the figure on the back of the card, I'm assuming they're using prototypes of these things because sometimes you got sometimes sometimes you got uh, things that look better than the figures, and sometimes you just have uh, prototypes that might not look all that much great. But I'm pretty quite sure this is the uh, prototype because. The hammers in the other hand, <laughs> unless they shot it from a mirror angle. Uh, yeah. Here's the front of the card as well, in case you really want to care about that. But, oopsie. Anyways, getting on to the figure itself. It's uh, the Marvel Universe door. And, this guy right here, it's about. Uh, where you can't see it all the way in the ruler, he's uh, he's almost uh, he's almost about uh, five inches on tall, five inches tall. So he's a bit uh, so so these guys are no longer classified in the three in the three and a quarter inch scales. These are nearly five inch figures because he's definitely over four inches. <laughs> so I think it's time I think it's time to stop calling all Marvel universe. I think it's time to consider all Marvel universe figures as three and a quarter inch figures, don't you? Because the girl is so big. Anyways, anyways, scope wise, he has a lot of uh, nice detail on him, on him, and Marvel Universe figures are famous for having a whole lot of, whole lot of, uh, whole lot of washes and airbrushes effects like that to get them more, get, to get them more like a shadow, get them more like a little shadowy look to the figure and stuff. So yeah, all Marvel Universe figures except for the Secret Wars and everything has like a little shadowy. Look at Fag on them, and that's pretty great. The face scope is pretty great, great too when I'm done, even though you really can't see it on the camera. Because if I try to put it too close, it will uh, lose its focus. But trust me, this one it's a great looking face. It's okay. Some people don't like it, but I do. Anyways, let's continue right along. In terms of articulation, he has a um, bald neck that goes up and down. And down. And not really uh, rotate 360 degrees because the hair restricts it. Restricts it from going too far. Unless you want to force it. He has a little um, ball drain uh, arm that can go in and out, forward. It can't rotate all the way around because of the cape, obviously. I mean, this, game, I mean, this thing has a whole lot of restrictions, and I will get into that as long in the review. He has the little uh, hinge elbow. The bicep screw as well. Screw wrist. And the uh, ball drain uh, torso. The screw uh, waist. He has the uh, same type of uh, uh, he has the same type of uh, ball drain that all the universe figures has when they jump. But not all figures have this little cut screw, but. Some figures have it, some figures don't. I guess like uh, big and hokey figures. Hokey figures have this um, bicep swivel. But not all of them have, have the cut swivel, so don't expect all figures to have the uh, all articulations like door. But anyways, he got that, and he also has like a little swivel in the die. He has the double hinge knees, which are restricted again. By, uh, by how big his leg is. Oh yeah, too, and his legs are restricted too. So they really don't go all that much far up. 
and he also has the um, ball joint and ankles as well, the ball hinge ankles. They also move side to side. And he stands perfectly without his figure stand. Yes, he does. Some people think that you need a figure stand for people with uh, capes and stuff, but no, you don't. You just gotta get certain figures and like a certain angle to have them stand without their stand. So, yeah. They wouldn't make figures that don't stand on themselves. Anyways, continuing right along. Accessory you come with? You come with his little um, base. Which is a very nice little base for Marvel Universe figures. Nice and small. Got his name on it. Which I'll probably use some uh, nail polish remover to remove that stuff off of it. And just, and just make it a regular Marvel Universe base. And, and Evo Do is, uh, Evo Do is changed the hammer now. They still come with these little top secret profiles that still has information carried over to them. And what's inside the card you would get? Yeah, come out. You would get this little code thing. I'm not sure this thing work online because I haven't checked it out for myself. His little superhuman registration card this thing that has this little stats that one I done. Again, pause if you want to see that for yourself. And this little top secret letter. Now, keep in mind that all letters are different. They're not the same. For those of you people that haven't collected Marvel Universe figures before, they all say something different. But they basically say stuff about, about the um, character. Oh yeah, and the accessories he also come with is his, uh, is his uh, trademark hammer, which is already in his hand. And yes, it is 100% re removable. And it's bigger than the Secret Wars one, and it also doesn't have the description. It just, uh, it just looks um, battle damage and stuff. And when I get done, like he been through a whole lot of wars and stuff. But of course, this is a modern door, so of course he's seen a whole lot of battles. It's supposed to have all that stuff on there. Now, what I recommend, and man, uh, modern door or any other Marvel Universe figures. Well, basically, Zaniki, if you can. Uh, if you can uh, find them in your neighborhood stores and whatnot and jump for a reasonable price, then I would say go for it. And go for it when not. But paying, paying $10 or more for these figures and whatnot and jump, they're not really worth it because, because paying over $10 for these figures right here is quite a lot. It's a lot of money for Marvel Universe figures. Figures and whatnot. Considering the size they are and they don't come with that much, they don't come with that much accessories. I guess the reason they uh, price for that much is because they have a good amount of articulation as a regular size figure. Probably even a bit more. But I got in my own door figure for, for a pretty good price. And I paid like uh, $5 for it. It was from a uh, grocery store. So <laughs> I think it was, either that was a steal or that was a great deal. But yeah, $5? Not bad at all. Not bad at all. <laughs> but anyway, this has been Joe E. Cooler. Number eight, a review for the Modern Universe door. And with that, I will say later days. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe if you want. But please leave comments and rates, because comments matters. Any type of comment matters. It don't have to be a good comment, just leave something. I mean, give me your opinion, people. I mean, come on.